A local area network, LAN, is a collection of devices connected together in one physical location, such as a building, office, or home. A LAN can be small or large, ranging from a home network with one user to an enterprise network with thousands of users and devices in an office or school. Regardless of size, a EAN single defining characteristic is that it connects devices that are in a single, limited area. In contrast, a wide area network, WAN, or metropolitan area network, MAN, covers larger geographic areas. Some WANs and MANs connect many LANs together. A LAN comprises cables, access points, switches, routers, and other components that enable devices to connect to internal servers, web servers, and other LANs via wide area networks. The rise of virtualization has also fueled the development of virtual LANs, which enable network administrators to logically group network nodes and partition their networks without a need for major infrastructure changes. For example, in an office with multiple departments, such as accounting, IT support, and administration, each department's computers could be logically connected to the same switch but segmented to behave as if they are separate. A local area network, LAN, is a computer network that interconnects computers within a limited area such as a residence, school, laboratory, university campus, or office building. By contrast, a wide area network, WAN, not only covers a larger geographic distance, but also generally involves least telecommunication circuits. Ethernet and Wi-Fi are the two most common technologies in use for local area networks. Historical network technologies include ARCnet, Token Ring, and Apple Talk. The increasing demand and usage of computers in universities and research labs in the late 1960s generated the need to provide high-speed interconnections between computer systems. A 1970 report from the Lawrence Radiation Laboratory detailing the growth of their octopus network gave a good indication of the situation. A number of experimental and early commercial LAN technologies were developed in the 1970s. Ethernet was developed at Xerox Park between 1973 and 1974. Cambridge Ring was developed at Cambridge University starting in 1974. Arcnet was developed by Datapoint Corporation in 1976 and announced in 1977. It had the first commercial installation in December 1977 at Chase Manhattan Bank in New York. In 1979, the electronic voting systems for the European Parliament was the first installation of a LAN connecting hundreds, 420, of microprocessor controlled voting terminals to a polling slash selecting central unit with a multi drop bus with master slash slave, technology, arbitration. The development and proliferation of personal computers using the CP-M operating system in the late 1970s, and later DOS-based systems starting in 1981, meant that many sites grew to dozens or even hundreds of computers. The initial driving force for networking was to share storage and printers, both of which were expensive at the time. There was much enthusiasm for the concept, and for several years, from about 1983 onward, Computer industry pundits habitually declared the coming year to be, the year of the LAN. In practice, the concept was marred by the proliferation of incompatible physical layer and network protocol implementations, and a plethora of methods of sharing resources. Typically, each vendor would have its own type of network card, cabling, protocol, and network operating system. A solution appeared with the advent of Novell Netware which provided even-handed support for dozens of competing card and cable types, and a much more sophisticated operating system than most of its competitors. Of the competitors to Netware, only Banyan Vines had comparable technical strengths, but Banyan never gained a secure base. 3Com produced 3Plus Share and Microsoft produced MSNet. These then formed the basis for collaboration between Microsoft and 3Com to create a simple network operating system LAN manager and its cousin, IBM's LAN server. None of these enjoyed any lasting success, NetWare dominated the personal computer LAN business from early after its introduction in 1983 until the mid-1990s when Microsoft introduced Windows NT. In 1983, 
TCP slash IP was first shown capable of supporting actual Defense Department applications on a Defense Communication Agency land test bed located at Reston, Virginia. The TCP slash IP based LAN successfully supported Telnet, FTP, and a Defense Department teleconferencing application. This demonstrated the feasibility of employing TCP slash IP LANs to interconnect Worldwide Military Command and Control System. WWMCCS, computers at command centers throughout the United States. However, WWMCCS was superseded by the Global Command and Control System, GCCS, before that could happen. During the same period, Unix workstations were using TCP slash IP networking. Although the workstation market segment is now much reduced, the technologies developed in the area continue to be influential on the Internet and in all forms of networking and the TCP slash IP protocol has replaced IPX, Apple Talk, NBF, and other protocols used by the early PC LANs. Econe was Acorn Computer's S low-cost local area network system, intended for use by schools and small businesses. It was first developed for the Acorn Atom and Acorn System 2 3 4 computers in 1981. In the 1980s, several token ring network implementations for LANs were developed. IBM released their own implementation of token ring in 1985, it ran at form bit slash s. IBM claimed that their token ring systems were superior to Ethernet, especially under load, but these claims were debated. IBM's implementation of token ring was the basis of the IEEE 802.5 standard. A 16 bit slash S version of token ring was standardized by the 802.5 working group in 1989. IBM had market dominance over token ring, for example, in 1990, IBM equipment was the most widely used for token ring networks. Fiber Distributed Data Interface, FDDI, a LAN standard, was considered an attractive campus backbone network technology in the early to mid-1990s since existing Ethernet networks only offered 10-bit-slash-s data rates and token ring networks only offered 4-bit-slash-s or 16-bit-slash-s rates. Thus it was a relatively high-speed choice of that era, with speeds such as 100-bit-slash-s. By 1994, vendors included Cisco Systems, National Semiconductor, Network Peripherals, SYS Connect, acquired by Marvel Technology Group, and 3Com. FDDI installations have largely been replaced by Ethernet deployments. Cabling In 1979, the electronic voting systems for the European Parliament was using 10 km of simple unshielded twisted pair category 3 cable the same cable used for telephone systems installed inside the benches of the European Parliament hemicycles in Strasbourg and Luxembourg. Early Ethernet, 10 base 5 and 10 base 2, used coaxial cable. Shielded twisted pair was used in IBM's token ring LAN implementation. In 1984, Star LAN showed the potential of simple unshielded twisted pair by using category 3 cable the same cable used for telephone systems. This led to the development of 10 base T, and its twisted pair successors, and structured cabling which is still the basis of most commercial LANs today. While optical fiber cable is common for links between network switches, use of fiber to the desktop is rare. In a wireless LAN, users have unrestricted movement within the coverage area. Wireless networks have become popular in residences and small businesses, because of their ease of installation. Most wireless LANs use Wi-Fi as wireless adapters are typically integrated into smartphones, tablet computers, and laptops. Guests are often offered internet access via a hotspot service. Network topology describes the layout of interconnections between devices and network segments. At the data link layer and physical layer, a wide variety of LAN topologies have been used, including ring, bus, mesh and star. Simple LANs generally consist of cabling and one or more switches. A switch can be connected to a router, cable modem, or ADSL modem for internet access. A LAN can include a wide variety of other network devices such as firewalls, load balancers, and network intrusion detection. 
34 advanced LANs are characterized by their use of redundant links with switches using the spanning tree protocol to prevent loops, their ability to manage differing traffic types via quality of service, QoS, and their ability to segregate traffic with VLANs. At the higher network layers, protocols such as NetBIOS, IPX-SPX, AppleTalk, and others were once common, but the Internet Protocol Suite, TCP-IP, has prevailed as the standard of choice. LANs can maintain connections with other LANs via leased lines, leased services, or across the Internet using virtual private network technologies. Depending on how the connections are established and secured, and the distance involved, such linked LANs may also be classified as a Metropolitan Area Network MAN, or a Wide Area Network WAN. The advantages of a LAN are the same as those for any group of devices networked together. The devices can use a single internet connection, share files with one another, print to shared printers, and be accessed and even controlled by one another. LANs were developed in the 1960s for use by colleges, universities, and research facilities, such as NASA, primarily to connect computers to other computers. It wasn't until the development of Ethernet technology, 1973, at Xerox PARC, its commercialization, 1980, and its standardization, 1983, that LAN started to be used widely. While the benefits of having devices connected to a network have always been well understood, it wasn't until the wide deployment of Wi-Fi technology that LANs became commonplace in nearly every type of environment. Today, not only do businesses and schools use LANs, but also restaurants, coffee shops, stores, and homes. Wireless connectivity has also greatly expanded the types of devices that can be connected to a LAN. Now, Nearly everything imaginable can be connected, from PCs, printers, and phones to smart TVs, stereos, speakers, lighting, thermostats, window shades, door locks, security cameras and even coffee makers, refrigerators, and toys. In general, there are two types of LANs, client-slash-server LANs and peer-to-peer -peer LANs. A client-slash-server LAN consists of several devices, the clients, connected to a central server. The server manages file storage, application access, device access, and network traffic. A client can be any connected device that runs or accesses applications or the Internet. The clients connect to the server either with cables or through wireless connections. Typically, suites of applications can be kept on the LAN server. Users can access databases, email, document sharing, printing, and other services through applications running on the LAN server, with read and write access maintained by a network or IT administrator. Most mid-sized to large business, government, research, and education networks are client-slash-server-based LANs. A peer-to-peer -peer LAN doesn't have a central server and cannot handle heavy workloads like a client-slash-server LAN can, and so they're typically smaller. On a peer-to-peer -peer LAN, each device shares equally in the functioning of the network. The devices share resources and data through wired or wireless connections to a switch or router. Most home networks are peer-to-peer. -peer. Thank you for watching this video.